really uh, excited to to talk about this. I know there's a lot of questions about this, and it's really probably one of the, the quickest and easiest way that businesses can really uh, get found on on Google and also uh, just get get more inbound phone calls. Yeah, and you know, Google My Business is one of those ones shops for your business listing information across the board. So having a Google My Business page enables you to manage your information on Google search, Google Maps, and even Google Plus as well. So um, some people kind of ask, why is Google My Business important? Let me share my screen here. <clears throat> yeah, there's, there's so many document. reasons. I mean, it, it, <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you, you're doing this because, you know, we always like to talk about the why, because a lot of people are like, well, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of want to do it. I, I know it's important, but I mean, you know, we've been doing this for a long time. We've seen, you know, over the, you know, almost 10 years, you know, of doing this that, you know, that it's important. But I mean, because we've seen that, you know, like Steve Rosenberg and Empire and, you know, and, and Liberty Management. I mean, I was just, I was it's funny because just before we got on today, I was looking at case studies that I've created to use as what we call lead magnets for other businesses to understand the, the depth of the importance of this um, by giving them real world numbers. I mean, we're, you know, I was just even, you know, thinking about this five years later, astounded, you know, when I first approached, you know, Kevin Liberty at Liberty Management and also uh, Steve Rosenberg over at Empire. And I said, you know, guys, this is, this is where things are headed. We really got to, you know, claim your Google My Business page, get some more reviews, and uh, and really work at this. And now, you know, here we are. I mean, whatever, four or five, six years later, and these guys are getting. You know, Google is, and specifically Google My Business. You know, showing up on the map is their number one source of inbound phone calls. And you know, it's, it it does take some time. I've said that over the last three or four you know times that we've been going live. You know, mm -hmm. it does take a little bit of time. But Google has actually given us some really cool tools that we didn't have even a month ago that yes. make it so that, you know, so that, so that you can, you know, really, uh, you know, stack the deck in your favor and, uh, and engage, you know, in some engagement tools. One, you know, that I know that you're going to talk about where, you know, you can actually have people text you directly from um, your Google My Business page. I mean, Really, really cool stuff, and and um, I'll let you go into what you're what you're going to share here. Awesome. Yeah. Um. So with the reason why Google My Business is important, just to just to keep going from where Ryan is talking about, is because it gives you, your searchers, our viewers, or anybody that finds you, if it's based off of a keyword, a phrase, service, or even if they just type in your name, address, and phone number, it gives everyone a snapshot of your business, and. It also helps maintain the name, address, and phone number, which like we talked last week, how important it is and how frustrated a consumer can be if they can't find your information. They don't blame the directory. They blame you and get real frustrated with that. So Google is kind of like your one-stop place to communicate with the world. <laughs> and then 75% of individuals are more likely to visit a business's website after finding helpful information in search results. Not only that, but, you know, making phone calls to you as well. And then um, considering a purchase, um, they're more likely to visit to contact you after finding helpful information on your Google My Business page. And one of the things that I really like is sometimes we have clients who understand the importance of what a Google My Business page is, but they don't even know what their Google, Google My Business page looks like. They know how to sign in to Google My Business. They know how to check their insights and add photos and update their posts, but they have no clue where it's showing up. And so um, it's, it's, it's beautiful to know that despite they don't know where it is, that they still do it anyways, because we all understand the importance of it. So right here, if you're looking at my page on the right-hand side, where it shows Accelerate Marketing, it has photos, it has um, how many Google reviews you have here, your address, your hours of operation. This right here that you're looking at is your Google My Business page. Oh, okay. So yep, and 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 that, and what I also want to point out that that um that you know it's it's. It's your Google My Business page, but I mean, what what an amazing opportunity that you have. I mean, you can change out your photos, 
you know, you can, you know, you, you can see there that there's questions and answers, you know, that, that people can ask. I mean, there's all kinds of customization that you can do here. You can even create a 360 degree virtual tour of your, you know, of your business so that people can literally experience your business before they even get there. I mean, there's, there's all kinds. I mean, you can change your office hours, obviously things like that. You can even make it so that people can text, um, any questions so they can really get quick access to you as well, which is really cool. And, uh, and even create, you know, additional things like, you know, posts. And I mean, it's, and this is the reason why this is so important is because you're looking at like 60 to 70% of people, you know, they go to Google. And so this is, this is the, you know, there's a lot of directories out there, but <laughs> you know, none that, that have that, that volume of, of people actually going and, and looking at those, at those, at their directories, like Google does like 60 to 70% of the, the search traffic is going through Google. So this is, if you're going to spend your time anywhere in terms of optimization and spending time creating content, then, I mean, it's, you got to go where the numbers are and it's just definitely Google's got it. Yes, definitely. And if you'd like a copy of this document that I have right here today, just type in um, GMB basics and we'll get that sent over to you. Also, if you have any questions in regards to anything that we've been talking about, send us a message at m.me forward slash accelerate marketing and we'll get in contact with you with either a video message or an audio message. Um, so in regards to a Google My Business um, page, another thing as well is it's very important that you fill out all the information as much as possible, because if you see right here, uh, anyone can suggest an edit. And once that edit goes on to your Google My Business page, and if the information is incorrect, then that's something that's out there for the world to see. So it's most definitely important to make sure that you have all your information updated. Yeah, and I, and I think it's also important to, to point out that, you know, Crystal, you've got a lot of experience with this because, I mean, you're dealing with the Google My Business Forum. You're dealing with Google My Business experts on Google's side, you know, day in, day out on behalf yeah. of, our, of our customer base in order to deal with situations. Like we just had a, a situation come up where, you know, all of a sudden one of, our, one of our customers, you know, just last night and, you know, because Google, you know, because Crystal is like a, you know, like a hen watching over all her little account manager eggs, you know, all of our customers, you know, she sees one that, that, you know, got out of the nest and, you know, getting out of the nest, so to speak is means, you know, when your Google, my business page is all of a sudden, um, what did they say last night? They, they were, it was reported as, uh, it was basically taken offline. I mean, there's yeah. Google, my business page, right? Yeah. So, um, this can happen. I mean, yes. those, those kind of challenges can happen. And, if you don't have somebody, if you're not watching over or you don't have somebody watching over your Google My Business page, your, Google My Business page, your GMB page, you know, all of a sudden, you know, you might scratch your head and, and look back a month and say, man, why did we get 40% fewer phone calls this past month? And if, if, you, if you don't know <clears throat> what's going on and you're not paying attention and you're not at the wheel, so to speak, of your Google My Business page, you can lose a lot of traffic before you really even realize what happened. And, and just having your Google My Business page taken down, like happened, you know, last night, and we're, we're just trying to figure out, you know, what, what happened, why, you know, you, you don't know, you know, we don't know yet, but because Crystal knows where to go to, you know, in order to get answers so that we can get the, the Google My Business page reinstated, you got to actually submit a request to have mm -hmm. it reinstated. Um, you know, and, and a lot of, a lot of business owners aren't going to know this kind of stuff. So I would, it does pay <laughs> definitely to work with a company that knows their way around this world of directories, because if you don't, then you could literally like just lose a month or two or three or four months. I mean, sometimes if a business isn't even looking at this stuff, they might just lose thousands of phone calls over years and years and years and not even know why it, why it happened, <laughs> you know, yes. if you don't, if you don't know about your Google, my business page and how to manage it, manage it, et cetera, you know? Yeah. You miss out on a lot of website clicks. You miss out on a ton of phone calls. It's not good. <laughs> it's definitely not good. And then 
you know, the thing too, that we've discovered last night with the suspension of that Google, my business page, and just kind of like a random, oh, it's just because of a quality issue and there's no other explanation. I mean, you don't want to stop there. You keep, you want to keep digging until you ask for a second chance and, or start over. You don't want to start over either. So having, you know, us on your side and asking us those questions so that we can help you better understand Google, my business is definitely something that you want to check out <laughs> because yeah, I mean, it's like and, that and, and overnight what, and, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and, and, and what's, and what's a, a quote unquote quality issue, you know I mean? It's yeah. so, it's so generic, you know? So if you don't have a, a way to connect with Google and talk yeah to the Google My Business experts at Google in order to uh, request for a reinstatement mm -hmm. of that Google My Business page after the quality issue was, was brought up, then I'm like, you know, I mean, basically the website, the Google My Business page is down. Like if he was showing up in search results yesterday, yesterday or the day before, he's not showing up in them today. I mean, they yeah. are literally, their, their Google My Business page is wiped off of Google my business like you on off, it's wiped off the map yeah <laughs> you're literally yeah. wiped off the map it's, you know yeah <laughs> it, yeah so. and so yeah something like that that's why we're here <laughs> and so back <laughs> to we only have a few minutes so I just want to get through why it's important to optimize your Google my business page and um, you need to realize that just like your content on your website or a blog or live video that information is used to can be used to optimize um, and, and put on Google My Business. So you know, keeping that information consistent, just like you have to with your content, it's it's got to be consistent on Google My Business as well, because then you'll show up, you know, on Google. Um, people will visually see your location. They'll be able to find contact details really quickly, and then see your business hours. Because I, I know, you know. A lot of the times we search online just to see what the business hours are and then it leads into one thing and then the other and then the next thing you know we're looking at their website and we're reading this and that so keeping your business hours um, current is very important even just signing in to say we're closed for easter that matters <laughs> even though you think the world knows sometimes they don't, and that yeah. matters. <laughs> you know, you can't yeah. take advantage of that. <laughs> exactly, and we and we haven't even gone, you know, gone to or even talked about the fact that you know it's like you know you, you mentioned like it, it it really does matter to add your office hours so that you, you know that you're really paying attention to your customers and their needs. Same thing with with like reviews, and you know if. if Getting reviews is important. Getting reviews on Google My Business is even that much more important because of what I mentioned earlier, because this is where 60 to 70% of people are going to find mm -hmm. local businesses. And, and just the same as it, it's important to put your office hours down for the sake of your customers or potential customers so that they don't show up at your, at your doorstep and waste their time going there because they don't know if you're open or not or because your office hours are wrong. It's the same thing same, for the same reason you want to reply to your reviews mm -hmm. on your Google My Business page, which is a whole nother topic, but I'll, uh, I'll let you keep on going there. <laughs> well, we're actually out of time, Ryan. Can you believe how fast that time goes? <laughs> I know. It's fun. It's like 10 minutes or what? Yeah, it's been 15 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, awesome. So, and then, um, the, I, would, I, I do want people, I do want people to definitely engage with us. We, yeah. there's a, probably a ton of questions. You know, this is all going into our outline. This is just another video that we're creating in our sequence of videos that we're, um, where we're following our outline and just going through this step by step. So if you haven't seen our outline and what we're talking about, um, just know that we're just going from top to bottom and um, we're just relaying the information that we've learned over the past years and that we know are going to be really beneficial uh, to businesses in order to help you guys understand you know, how to really, you know, how to really compete in this digital age, um, mm -hmm. you know, with, uh, with your, with your business. So um, definitely uh, go to m.me forward slash accelerate marketing. That's A C C E L E R A T E accelerate marketing. And uh, we'll send you case studies. We've got a few case studies that we can send you of exactly, you know, what happened with the, the different case studies I was mentioning earlier with Kevin 
Knight and Steve Rosenberg and how they grew to, you know, from 200 doors for the property management company, one of them to 800 doors in the last three years, just primarily from really what we did with optimizing them, them locally. And now they're getting a hundred inbound phone calls monthly, um, month after month. Yeah. You know? I'll, I'll definitely include that link here in, um, okay. in, in the comments. And then Monday through Friday, we're live sharing some successful strategies with you on how to become the go-to business in your niche. This week is all about Google My Business. Next week is about um, reviews and your online reputation. And then the week after that is local SEO. So my homework for you today is to type in your business name in the city and take a look and see what your Google My Business page looks like. Tomorrow, we'll be talking more about Google My Business. So create a great rest of your day, everyone. Thanks.